St. George's Church, Hardwick Place. Situated beside Temple Street Children's Hospital in Hardwick Place is St. George's Church. It is one of the most beautiful buildings in Dublin and was built between 1802 and 1813. It was built for the Protestant community of the North Inner City, who were wealthy at that time. Its architect was Francis Johnston, 1760 to 1829, the man who also built the GPO on O'Connell Street. The church is broader than long, which makes it very interesting. Actually, it nearly feels as if the church is running the wrong way. At the front of the church are four columns, and above them a Greek inscription which reads, Glory to God in the Highest. Its clock tower was modelled on a very famous London church called St. Martin's in the Fields. In 1836, the roof of the church nearly collapsed because the beams of wood used were too short to hold it up. The building was getting too expensive and the architect had bought shorter beams than were needed to save money. An engineer named Robert Mallet inserted iron arches into the roof and saved the church. Mallet is famous today as the man who invented seismology, the science of examining earthquakes. He buried explosives on Kalini Beach and measured the shock waves when they blew up. St. George's was one of the first buildings in Dublin to be photographed. William Henry Fox Talbot, 1800 to 1877, the man who was sometimes called the father of modern photography, took its photo about 1846. At that time, the church was surrounded by big Georgian houses that were all knocked down and replaced with flats in the 1950s. St. George's has been closed as a church for a long time, and once a theatre group worked from there. Its tower and spire were surrounded by scaffolding for more than 20 years, but in 2005, restoration work has finally begun.